When you open GameCore, you are first greeted with a dialog box. This box has two sections. The right section is a list of recently opened projects. The left section is project options. It is important to note here the way GameCore handles project hierarchy. All world files are contained inside project files. When you create a project, GameCore automatically generates a bunch of files to aid in your organization and optimization, things like terrain, objects, worlds, and so on and so forth. So any worlds you build will be contained inside project worlds. Since this is a new project, let's create new project. When you click create new project, you will get a list of template worlds. Later you can go back and augment a template world to get a feel for a more complete game. The one we are concerned with is Empty Project. Select it and open. When you select Empty Project, GameCore will want you to choose a destination directory for your new project. This is where GameCore will put all those handy folders it creates. You can put this basically anywhere. What I do is create a project directory from the C drive and add to that. For instance, in the video I navigate to the project folder and create a new directory called Tute Vids. You can call it anything, or stick with my naming convention to better follow along with the videos. Once you create the directory, it'll appear in the file view list on the right side of the dialog window. Simply select it and click open. We will now have a blank void, a dead space existing for you to bring life into. Let's start with a name. After the empty project is loaded, go to Project, Save, World. This will open up the dialog box allowing you to name this world. Notice the top left, that's the full file extension. Mine currently is C drive slash projects slash tutevids slash media slash worlds. So by creating our tutevids project, GameCore created a media folder with a worlds folder in it and others. Let's name our new world and save. I name mine ProjVid1. Okay, let's start with some world basics. These are things I usually do first when starting a new project that I find help with the basic world development. Worlds need floors and ceilings, so that's where I start. Let's add a terrain object. Down on the bottom right side of the screen are some buttons. Since we have nothing in our world, most of these buttons are grayed out. The one that isn't is the one we want to use. To add terrain, first click Add. This will give you the Load Object dialog box. For terrain, we will use a template object, so click From Template. Scroll down the list of templates until you find the Terrain option. By double-clicking it, you will open up the terrains in the Game Core templates. Select Editable Terrain and click Open. This will add a flat blank terrain to augment. Let's use the scroll wheel on the mouse to pull back and see all of our terrain. Uh oh, the terrain edges are disappearing. Have no fear, this is the clip plane. This is something that will help with optimization within the editor. It is defaulted to 500 in meters. I like to go in and change this. Go to environments, environment. On the right side of the dialog window is the far clip plane. Change that from 500 to 2000. Also, there is a handy enable fog button. This turns fog on and off, and the dialog provides you with some other ways to edit the fog, like color, distance, and so on and so forth. Leave fog off for now. Okay, that's the floor. Now let's get a ceiling. Let's go back to the environments menu. Go to Environment Sky System. There is a button at the top, Enable Sky System. Click it to add GameCore's built-in Sky System. GameCore's Sky System has a ton of sliders for you to change the sky's behavior and settings. You can change the time of day, position on the planet, the cloud coverage, etc. You can, of course, add your own sky box and textures. This sky system just has a lot of built-in functionality already coded for you like animation and dynamic time of day changes. So that's it. 
We have the first basic world. Say hello to your world and save. Project Save World.